So, <laughs> so something is a foot. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Megan, welcome if you're new here, and today we're starting something very exciting. We are starting, I am starting, finally, a TBR game! <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> so this is TBR Cluedo, hence the outfit. <laughs> If you know me and you watch my channel a lot, you'll know that I love murder mystery. So I have designed a TBR game inspired by Cluedo, inspired by Super Cluedo specifically. And I love the board so much. I'm obsessed with it. I'm so happy with how it's turned out. I've got the stage presence, I've got the voice, I've got the looks, and I just, I've got everything. And I know I have. It's been so hard to keep this a secret from you guys when I've been planning it and making it and everything, but I just love it. I just love it so, so much. And I'm so excited to play this with you guys. Let me take the hat off now. We've, we've had enough of that. I have wanted to make a TBR game for like a year, basically. Full credit and inspiration to all of the TBR queens who have come before me. I'm sure you all love watching TBR games. And yeah, I'm just really, really excited. Now I'm gonna let you guys know the rules for the TBR game. I will split this into chapters down below. So if you don't care about the rules, you can skip it and just you wanna learn how it goes as you go along you can do that but um yeah let's get into the rules okay so obviously each of these different rooms correspond to a different genre so we've got horror magical realism which can also include anything like surrealism or fabulism we've got fantasy which will also include sci-fi because we haven't got a sci-fi room we've got romance contemporary thriller non-fiction historical and mystery First, I'll roll an eight-sided dice, and this will pick which person I move. So there's all these, like, Cluedo people dotted around the board, and they've each got a number assigned to them, and this dice will determine which person I move, and then we'll roll two six-sided dice, and this determines how many steps I move, and I can either use the total of these two, or I can pick the sum of one of them. I have to land on either a book or a weapon for the roll to count. So on each of these books there's a number on the back and this corresponds to a prompt. So I then have to read a book that fits that prompt and is the genre of the room that it's in. If I roll double on these two dice, I can move that amount and then roll again if I want to. The weapons that you might see dotted around are super clues. <laughs> So these are a bit different. They're not exactly prompt. The dagger is a random number generator. The magnifying glass is a book recommended by the viewer. The rose is something secret that I can't tell you about yet. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. You are so inquisitive, my darling. So we just won't pick that in this month's round, but I reckon by next month that will be ready to you guys to know about. The candlestick is a phone a friend, so I will FaceTime another booktuber and they will pick a book for me. The glasses are to scroll on Instagram until I see a book that I own and I have to read that book. And the wand is a book that I need to read for a themed reading vlog I'm doing that month. The weapons are not constrained by the genre. So like, although phone a friend is in mystery, they don't have to pick a mystery, they can pick whatever they want. The staircases dotted around here will allow me to move to different rooms. So if I go through a staircase, I can move to any different room. For punishments, I haven't quite figured out how this is gonna work yet because I haven't played it yet. But I think if there are three rolls that I can't land on a prompt on, so say I'm here and I roll a two, and I can't get to um, a prompt in that time. If there's three of those, I have to add on a book or roll. Now that may be too many, it may change to two or one um, equals a punishment, but we'll just see as we go along. And also if I don't finish my TBR in the month, for the next month, I will take a punishment as well. So that is the rules. Can we just talk about how cute the little books are? Tom, my boyfriend made them for me. I think they're so cute. I just love everything about this game, how it all looks, like all the weapons, he made them as well. I just think it all looks so amazing. Let's get into the roles. I'm gonna do six roles. I typically at the moment have been reading anywhere between like five to 10 books a month. So I feel like 
like six is a good manageable number. Obviously we may end up getting punishments and that will add to the total. So I feel like starting with six is a good number. Yeah, let's get into the first roll. Ah, oh my God, I am so nervous. I am so nervous. Okay, roll one. First we roll the eight sided dice. Five, so that is white. Oh my God. <laughs> it's gotta get a sip of water. Now we roll the six side. Oh my God, that was, whoops. A five and a five. We've got two five, so we've got a double. In terms of genres I need to read this month, I've got some contemporaries, some thrillers. Can I make it one, two, three? Like, of course I can, because I can roll again. So let's, let's go towards thriller, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and then we roll again a three and a three another double okay well i'm not gonna roll again i don't think one two three four five six and get that one which is number 28 which is a book you've never seen on booktube Okay, so roll one landed in the thriller room and the prompt was a book that you haven't heard anyone speak about on booktube. And this was hard actually, because I think I get a lot of my like thriller recommendations from booktube. But the one that I've chosen, I think it's because it's new. <laughs> I just haven't really heard anyone uh, have a chance to speak about it yet. But I didn't really hear anyone speak about it in like the 2021 anticipated releases either. And it is Hairpin Bridge by Taylor Adams. So Taylor Adams is the author of No Exit, which is a super popular thriller here on Booktube. Loads of people love it. I absolutely loved it. It was a five star for me. So I am super excited to get to this this month. This is a new release, the author's next book. And all I know about this is that this girl's sister three months ago um, drove off Hairpin Bridge to her death, leaving behind a vague suicide note. And her sister is convinced that she was murdered and she goes to the area and tries to get answers out of the highway policeman, but he is super like not cooperative, he's lying. And I think it's kind of a similar, a similar cat and mouse game like No Exit was. I'm hoping for tension, like No Exit. I've never felt that sick reading a book in my life. <laughs> This is disgusting. I like it though. No book has ever made me feel that tense. And I feel like Taylor Adams just does like really tense, high paced thrillers well is what I'm hoping. So I am so excited to get to his new release. And yeah, oh, I'm so nervous, but I hope, I hope it's gonna be great. Okay, time for roll two. Color one, which is green. Okay, that is good because I've got some fantasy I would like to read, I think. Okay, let's roll this. We have got six. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> where can I go? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's go there. That is number 24, which is a book over 400 pages. Ah, oh no. <laughs> Roll two, I was already not happy with. <laughs> so we landed in fantasy and the prompt was a book over 400 pages. And when you don't have, cause obviously many of you know, I do themed reading vlogs. So I've already got a, like a kind of TBR for this month in a way. And I didn't have a fantasy over 400 pages planned in any of those videos. So now I'm like, ha. Huh. Well, I gotta take on something extra here. <laughs> but I did find one that I really wanna read and have been super excited for. And that is Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. This is quite long. Like it's not just over 400 pages. It is about 400 and 476 pages, this book. And this is by the author of The Martian. I have heard so many good things about this. People have been like super duper excited for it. And the reviews I've seen coming in have been like five stars, five stars, five stars, five stars. Like I've heard people saying it's just as good as The Martian. Like that's that's high praise. I love The Martian. I think I've read that like two times. Love the film. All I know about this is very similar to The Martian. This guy wakes up. He is the sole survivor on a desperate last chance mission. So he's like surrounded by his dead crewmates. He can't really remember what he's there for, what he's supposed to be doing. Yeah, I'm just excited for like a bit of high paced, crazy, 
sci-fi. I just think Andy Weir is a great sci-fi writer, so I'm so excited to get to this. Okay, roll three is... Oh, we've got green again. Okay, we're in fantasy again. The fantasy book I need to read for a video, I don't, I think it's like 380 pages, so I don't think it will have been what I just picked. So, do we try again? <laughs> Let's see what we roll. Okay, oh my god, that was a two. Sorry, I just flipped it. So that is three. Uh, where can I go? One, two, three, one, two, three. Which of those do I go for? Let's go here. One, two, three which is, that's number six, I think. <laughs> Something with white on the cover. A book with white on the cover. Okay. Roll three was another fantasy, this time with something white on the cover, with some white on the cover. Now, this one is the book that I had planned in a TBR that I, <laughs> that isn't over 400 pages. It's like 380. Interestingly, both the fantasy picks this month are sci-fi, because that is technically, I should have had that room say fantasy sci-fi, but by the time I realized that, uh, it had already been made. <laughs> so uh, it was too late, but it is fantasy sci-fi, that room. And I don't read a lot of sci-fi. I don't think I've even read any sci-fi this year. So the fact that we're going to be reading two this month is pretty crazy, but it is The Weight of the Stars by Kay Ancrum. So I am so excited to read this. It That, that counts as white on the cover, right? The font is all white. So I think, and like the picture behind the sound waves is black and white. So we're counting it. Wishful thinking. Yeah. You're a dreamer. You dream a lot in your sleep. No, not really. So I read The Wicker King by Kate Enkrum and I loved it. And this is for a secret reading vlog that I'm doing. I don't know too much about it. I just know that it's Kate Enkrum. So it's going to be told in this kind of like, is it epistolary? No. What is this called? No, that's epistolary isn't the right word. No, uh... You bitches are stupid. Where it's like chapters are only like a page, two pages basically. So it's a super fast pace. These kind of books you can basically read in one sitting. And I know it's about this girl who like dreams of traveling to space and about radio signals, hence the sound waves on the edge and on the cover. And I'm just so excited to read some more Kay Ancrum. I absolutely loved The Wicker King. So I am super excited to get to this this month. Okay, time for roll four. I'm nervous. Two. Where is that? Purple, where is purple? Oh, here, okay. There's a lot of mysteries I would like to read this month. So let's see what we get. Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous. Oh no. <laughs> We've got a three and a four. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's go there. That is number 19 which is a book I have hauled recently. Oh my God, that is perfect. That is perfect. So roll four, we landed in the mystery room and the prompt was a book that I have hauled recently, which was perfect because I have quite a few mysteries that I have hauled recently. Like I had like four I could have chosen from that I haven't even shown you yet. I've got a book haul coming out next week. Uh, this is a little sneak peek. But it was hard to choose one of them because there's so many that I want to read, but I have ended up choosing the one I think I'm most excited for. And it is Ace of Spades by Farida Abike Iomede. This, I, <laughs> I feel like today, the future starts. So it's a good day. I'm excited. <laughs> Everyone, everyone who's been reading this has been giving it five stars and speaking about how bonkers the ending is. And I'm just so excited. It's like set at this private academy. It's like Gossip Girl inspired. So like these two, our two main characters, Devon and Chiamaka, um, are having like their secrets leaked to the rest of the school by this like gossipy girl character. And I'm just so excited. I am just so excited. I literally cannot wait to read this. Everyone has just been rating it so, so highly. It's been getting so much hype. And I just love a good mystery, you guys. You guys, I just love a good mystery. You know me. I feel like I'm starting to find more mysteries. I feel like every day, every day I wake up and I'm like, I found a new mystery. What? What am I even saying? Sorry. <laughs> every day I wake up and I'm like, thank you for the mysteries. <laughs> But yeah, the fact that this is like a mystery that everyone is reading and rating so highly, you just know I've got to read it. So I am so excited. This is like probably the number one book that I was hoping to fit on this TBR. It's not even for a set themed reading vlog. I'm just going to read it. Hopefully on holiday. I'm going on holiday in like a week or so. So I think I'm going to read it then. Roll five is two again. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. 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 Four. 
Or I could do a one. I can't get anywhere in one. I could do three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Ah, I don't know what to do. Let's go one, two, three. Which is, what is that? 16. Four or more words in the title. A mystery with four or more words in the title. Okay. Oh, that's kind of hard. I can't think of anything right now. Okay, then roll five. We were still in the mystery room and the prompt was a book with four or more words in the title. Now this was really hard. I went and I looked on my mystery shelf on Goodreads and there wasn't many. There wasn't many to choose from. Usually I feel like mystery titles are like short and snappy like two or three words. But I have chosen In the Market for Murder by T.E. Kinsey. This is a cozy murder mystery series set like in the 1900s, early 1900s um, in England. It's like cozy English countryside. I've read the first one in this series and this is the second one. I'm super excited to get to this audiobook. They're fairly short. I think it's only like maybe seven hours the audiobook, which isn't too long. I don't actually know what this one's about, but it's basically this kind of society woman and her maid servant, like her number one made companion and they solve murder mysteries together in quaint English towns. I love it. It's like my favourite thing uh, to listen to as an audiobook. I find those kind of books really suit audiobooks because I don't have to like pay 100% attention but it's super, I love the atmosphere and I just love the the simple mysteriness of it all. So I'm really excited to continue on with that series because I read the first one a couple months ago and they're just like super easy audiobooks for me to listen to. Okay and then our last roll is this. Oh eight, who is eight? Blue. Oh okay, blue's over here. Right, let's see what we get. Oh, oh wow, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> We've got a six or a five. I think I'm gonna go into like the magical realism-y section because I think there's quite a few I wanna read. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. I think I want the wand. <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> Okay, we've got a wand which is a book I need to read for a themed reading vlog. It doesn't have to be magical realism, but I think I will probably choose something along those lines. And then the last draw was a wand which is a book I need to read for a themed reading vlog. I, I'll try not to like abuse the wand because obviously it does make my life easier, but we were just near it. That was just what we were near that day. And obviously the weapons don't have to fit the genre of the room that they're in, but this time it actually is. So the magical realism room, as I said, also encompasses things like fabulism, surrealism, you know, all of those kind of like weird wacky books. It's kind of the weird book room. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. I have chosen Summer of Salt by Katrina Leno. So this is one I've been super excited to get to. It was on my summer TBR because of the name. I literally just can't wait to read this. As many of you know, I absolutely loved You Must Not Miss by Katrina Leno. Where is she? Here she is. Yeah, I absolutely loved You Must Not Miss. So I'm hoping for similar weird uncomfortable strange vibes. All I know about this is that it's like set on this island by the sea and there's strange magical things going on. That's basically all I know, but I am super excited to read it. I loved, loved, loved Katrina Leno's other book and so I am so excited to get to this one. So there we go. That is our first TBR Cluedo TBR. <laughs> so it's obviously this plus the audiobook for In the Market for Murder. I counted it and it's just over 2,000 pages, which isn't too bad. Obviously, we have got uh, Project Hail Mary, which is like 470 pages, and Ace of Spades is like 440 pages, but I think this is all totally doable for me. And these are books I've been so excited to read. I'm like, absolutely, I'm just, I just can't wait to read all of these. These are, we don't really have any duds, you know what I mean? We haven't had any books that I've been forced to read because of a prompt and I don't want to read it. So yeah, I am just so, so, so excited to read all of these. Let me know if you have read any of these before and what you think of them. And I'm just gonna hold the board up one more time because I just love it so much. I hope you enjoyed TBR Cluedo. I, I actually wanna get married to this board. I just love it so much. It's like my favorite thing in the world. I literally wanna kiss it, but I don't wanna get makeup on it. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed TBR Cluedo. It's gonna be obviously a monthly feature on my channel. I'm so happy I am finally doing a TBR game. Like I said, I literally wanna do it forever. Like I've literally wanted to do a TBR game forever, but I've wanted to have a board 
like as amazing as this. I hope TBR Kudo makes sense. I think I am gonna change the rule for how we get a punishment. I think I'm gonna change that to like either two or one rolls if I can't reach a prompt that will add a book to my TBR. Let me know if you think it should be two or one because I think three will just never happen. So let me know if you think it should be two or one. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.